Most people are using AI like it's a novelty, but those who actually get ahead are building systems that do the work for them. Systems that go way beyond basic chat GPT usage. And if every tool outside of your usual workflow has felt like a waste of time up until now, that is about to change. I will walk you through three powerful features across different tools, each designed for everyday work and quietly saving me hours every week. And honestly, it's nothing flashy. It's just practical leverage most people don't know of that you can start using today. I'm Ali Salem. I work as a director in a tech company. And on this channel, I show you how to turn tech and finance into your personal advantage. Starting with the first tool, Microsoft Copilot. Most people think about Microsoft Copilot like ChatGPT slapped into the Microsoft Office suite. But the real trick is to stop treating it like a general purpose LLM and start using it for predefined, time-sucking tasks. That's where it really shines. Now, it has a bunch of features, but I'm gonna show you one thing that you should be incorporating today. And this will 100% be a game changer for your Excel game. And that is the Copilot function that you can access in Excel. It basically allows you to execute functions in Excel, but in plain English. Kind of the same way you would prompt in ChatGPT. Now, it specifically does two things extremely well. Let's take a look at both in an example. So we have a data table here. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, you may have noticed that Ron is what could best be described as a professional stress eater. This table outlines the main moments he binged. Now, instead of manually calculating the amount of food that he ate, let's have Copilot estimate the weight of each binge meal. We do this by simply applying the Copilot function. So first, we'll need to define the prompt. And from there, we need to define the context data. Now, I mentioned it does two things extremely well. This is the first one. As you can see, it's pulling in data that we don't even have in Excel. So it can help enhance the data model with additional information that you didn't have access to. Now, let's take a look at the second thing that it does really well. Let's ask Copilot to summarize Ron's total stress food intake per year. So we can finally figure out which year was the most stressful one. And this is the second point that does really well. You no longer have to be an Excel guru where you wrestle with the endless function that Excel has to offer. You can just use your normal natural language prompting that you're already used to doing when you are in ChatGPT. Now, quick note, at the time of this recording, you probably don't have access to Copilot, but you can get access to it if you do two things. First, you need to have an Office 365 subscription with Copilot Plus. Second is you need to join the Microsoft Insider channel called Beta. It sounds super exclusive, but it is literally just a checkbox in your account settings that allows you to get access to the latest releases. If you are the kind of person that likes to use tech to get ahead, then this channel was made for you. Hit subscribe and I will send more like this your way every week. Moving on to our second tool. If you're constantly screenshotting charts or table just to beg ChatGPT for help, this tool is gonna hit home for you. What's really cool with Google AI Studio is that it lets you share your screen and then tag team the problem together with the AI. Let's see what it actually looks like. Which chart would be ideal to visualize which year Ron ate the most? A bar chart would be ideal for visualizing the stress eating weight per year. It allows you to easily compare the weights across different years and quickly identify the year with the highest stress eating. Which bar chart do you think I should select? A 2D bar chart would be a good option. It's straightforward to read and effective for comparing the stress eating weights across different years. You can choose the first option, which is a basic 2D bar chart. <sighs> Poor Ron. Can someone get this guy a salad? Moving on to the last tool, we have Notebook LM. And this is another Google product. It's perfect if you're juggling a bunch of different data sources for various tasks and just need to connect the dots fast. And instead of digging through each and every one of them manually, Notebook LM pulls the accurate insights from all of them at the same time. It's kind of like having a research assistant that reads everything, never forgets, and doesn't charge by the hour. In Notebook LM, you can connect your data sources in four different ways. First, you can drag and drop your files. Second, you can connect to your Google Drive documents and presentations. Third, you can link it to websites or YouTube videos. And lastly, you can drop free texts in. The chat will then answer only based on what you have uploaded. 
Now this obviously works best for those repeatable tasks where you can just dump all your data sources from work and then pull out the insights that you need without having to go through them one by one. But here's the thing, it doesn't need to be super complex tasks. You can also use it for more trivial things. So something I use quite a lot is I pull out information from the user manuals when I'm doing this recording. So obviously I have a camera, a microphone, I have a light box, and I want to know which settings works best when I use my tools specifically together. In the example here, I can draw the correct camera settings for indoor portrait pictures by simply prompting it in Notebook LM. It will both provide me with the answers and link me to the source where it pulled the information from. Now, Notebook LM is tuned to give accurate information, which is great because it means it hallucinates less and you don't have to worry as much about cross-checking the work that comes out of it. But the trade-off is, of course, creativity. It's not great for blue sky ideas. That's why a lot of people use Notebook LM to pull the correct insights, then jump into something like ChatGPT for a brainstorming session or discussing next steps. Thank you for watching. And if this clicked for you, I think you're gonna love this one. It breaks down how you can become AI native in less than nine minutes. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.